Looks like somebody's been up to no good. I think we're close. I think we found it. I think so. Didn't you say this has been lost since 1985? You can do the honors. It's been a long, hard search. Cold gold. The lost gold of Austin. Here's two adventures. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cold Beer Time with Joe and Thorn. And we're back at Hillside Pharmacy again, and uh, on this fresh edition, we decided to mix it up with a blind taste test of Montucky Cold Snack and Yingling Traditional Lager, the oldest brewery in America. Everybody's pretty stoked about this beer right now, so we're going to see what it's like. All right, we'll be back after these messages. Whether I'm hanging out at the lake with a couple of kids I don't know, or just wandering down some railroad tracks somewhere, or if I'm just floating around a random lake with some friends, I reach for Montucky Cold Snack. I was made for Montucky. Montucky. And we're back, uh, and we got beer number one here. Ding, ding. Which, <laughs> pretty sure that this is Montucky Cold Snack, because it's not. What gave it away? Cheers. And cheers to you. Uh, it smells like cheap beer. Yeah, the, the smells. It's okay. Yeah, this is Montucky Cold Snack. It tastes like Taiwan beer. This stuff's terrible. It tastes like Taiwan brand beer. Um, I don't have very much to say. It has no. The, it's pretty. It's. I mean, it. It's just. It has drinkability, but it's definitely. It's not as bad as Taiwan beer, by the way. No. Also, if Taiwan beer and the Taiwanese government's watching that, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm not too keen on their, their logos and stuff, but hey, who am I? I don't know. Well, what can you expect out of the official, unofficial beer of Montana? <laughs> we have an official beer in Texas. Oh, that's a national beer in Texas. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's really average. Like, I... I'm not gonna call up the band and be like, guys, oh my gosh, Cold Snack. I do like it, it's called Cold Snack. I think it's kind of funny. I don't. <laughs> I think it's a dumb thing. <laughs> I think it's funny. It, it, I mean, it's I'm not of... trying to be rude, but it's, I don't know, I don't, the name is, it's not a snack, it's a beer. But, but a Guinness, cold snack. But Guinness is like a meal. The greatest lie perpetrated among uh, wives and children was that Guinness was a meal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It really does say on here, also, audience, we didn't know this earlier. It says the official, unofficial beer of Montana. Uh, we didn't plug their slogan earlier because we couldn't find one. <laughs> and I guess that yeah, we did. And we got it. Excellent. So I guess uh, we're going to take another break. And we'll be back and we'll try Yingling. Yingling. Yingling! 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 Peanut. All right, we're back. And uh, we're back with Yingling. Yingling. So right now, um, I guess west of the Mississippi, this is now available. People are freaking out. Um, it's kind of like when In-N-Out came to Texas. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, it's 
like the greatest hamburger ever. I've never had it. Um, wait, what? I, it, wait. I, I've never had In and Out. I I've had Yingling. I had it a while ago, and uh, but all right. This is a. Sorry, I'll let you try it. Mm. This is a dead on. Uh, it's way better. It's oh it yeah. Has a, it like I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not a big Yingling fan. I've had it many times, but. Up against Montucky Cold Snacks, this is a very different beer. Way yeah, more <laughs> Way more complex. It tastes it tastes like a crappy beer, like what we're reviewing. I guess we need to step away from saying crappy. No. Yeah, I mean yes. Yeah. But it's good. It's actually good like right next to this month, it's great. It's a very flavorful. And I hope so, because they've been around since eighteen twenty six. If they hadn't got their beer straight by now, they probably should be out of the business. Did they survive by making like ice cream or soda or something like that? I think so. I don't want to say uh, non-facts, but oh, like during the or during the prohibition, prohibition, yeah, they might have made the uh, non-beer, like the like really low alcohol. Oh beer. yeah, that non-beer, that below three percent garbage. Oklahoma Plus, something like that. They, they cut that out. They did. Yeah, yeah, it was a while back. But this, you know what? This is, it is really good. I actually like it. I'm enjoying the Yingling. It do, I, I like we were talking about in a previous episode. I don't. I think it's better in a can because it's not in a green bottle. Um, some of you guys might disagree. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna have a little more. Even. I know. Uh, that was a terrible pour. <laughs> that was a Hillary Clinton pour. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting political. I just saw her poor beer and it was atrocious. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> uh, no politics. Uh, no, it's good. I know Garrett is happy. I know Sean's happy. Uh, Alan Melson, he's happy. Sarah uh, Hauser is happy out there in Austin, Texas. It's re yeah, it is good. Um, but it... it I'm not insulting you, Yingling. It kind of reminds me of um, Samuel Adams a little bit, but I think it's because of the, it, it's like an amber, so. Uh, Samuel Adams is the second time we brought it up on the show, and uh, I think we are gonna have to try Sam Adams' lager against something. Honestly, we should have saved Yingling to go up against Sam Adams' lager. We should have done Montucky up against Crazy Cowboy. We tried to get Crazy Cowboy, but Cesar, he, the beer store, quit carrying it, so. That's one crazy story. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the end of this episode. We'll be back, that's the end of the season right now. So we will be back, um, I don't know, soon. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, please do. Uh, and tell us what you guys want to see. We want to know about beers. We want to know about regional specifics. We want to get them in. We want to try them. Uh, hopefully, we can get old style on the show soon. We're going to do Dixie, uh, uh, Narragansett. Uh, we're, we're talking about doing Genesee Cream Ale. Any ideas anybody has out there, let us know. And comment, message us, whatever. The uh, episode coming up for Halloween will be the scary beer episode. So you, that's going to be... I, I'm not excited about that. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week.